Hello folks and thanks for watching, we are sharing with phoenix.co.uk and today I am going to show you possibly uh, one of the uh, most distressed looking Yamaha U1s I think we've ever had in our stock. Um, I'm going to start by just opening it up quick quickly. It's, um, so it's a Yamaha U1 and therefore it's a Japanese piano. Um, people will always ask where the different Yamahas are made, this one certainly is. Uh, Japanese and the serial number is 218-3096 um, you can quite quickly see you'll see in the pictures and certainly in this video the condition of the casework around the edges it looks as though it has had some serious use probably on a stage at some point I'm actually not 100% sure where this piano was came from because of the way it's been traded into us uh, but it's, a, it's an interesting piano. We have a couple of missing bass strings here, as you'll see. Uh, we've got one here, one here, and I'm sure, and one here as well. So there's three missing bass strings, and the rest of the tenor and treble strings are all present. It's unusual to actually see bass strings breaking on a piano, unless, unless it's under tuning. You will see some, some very, very rarely you'll break a string whilst playing a piano. Um, I think in my history of playing, I think I've probably witnessed one string breaking on me whilst playing. Um, so that could have been a tuning disaster. But given this, the condition of this piano overall, it, it could have been, it could have just been pure usage because it's quite clearly been a well-used, well-traveled instrument. Having said that, it is a Yamaha U1. They're a very robust piano and um, the serial number dates this piano to 1976 and it's certainly not had what we call a full restoration or anything like that at any point. Um, it's, it's due, definitely the casework is due a full restoration and we could improve the action work and obviously replace the strings and actually have a relatively nice working Yamaha U1. This is the, the beauty of these pianos is they, they have been particularly solid. Um, it's a reason why studios, schools, um, professional piano players, uh, concert halls and, and occasions and, and venues would use these very instruments because they, they, they are great and they take, they take a lot of abuse. So I'm going to play the piano over to you and just demonstrate what we still have here. But the other thing that's worth mentioning is um, the middle pedal assembly is missing on this. Um, that, in this occasion, is a silent or a practice pedal, so you're also missing the Celeste felt on this, um, which is, uh, it's not entirely necessary, so depending on what you're using it for, some people actually take it out, because on occasion it will cause rattles, it will cause uh, interruptions with the, uh, with the hammers, it can sometimes catch a hammer and slow down if, if, need, if it's needing serviced and it's not maybe sitting at the right height. Um, so I have been, over the years, been asked just to remove them and th this is probably why I think this piano has largely been used in this situation with the um, with all the front door and the piano key lid, the fallboard, taken off um, and the piano exposed, probably for recording and, and um, stage purposes. But here we go, I'll play it over to you.
folks, if you want to come down and see this piano uh, in its current condition, we're certainly, it's going to go on eBay, we'll, we'll try it and see if we can get a fair value for it, and if not, we probably will see about doing something um, funky with it, we might even turn it into an art project or something like that, um, so we're going to try it on eBay once, and see if we can find a, a buyer for it, and certainly I think there is a buyer out there for this piano, there's just something nice about it, the first time I sat down um, to play it, I literally sat at it for about 45 minutes, just playing something similar to what I've just played there just now, but I get carried away and literally just sat for an, a, a long time going through very similar progressions because I play the same progressions very regularly. Um, I seem to have a, a bit of a circular thing where I keep on just keep on doing the same thing all the time. And this this piano just kind of talked to me for some reason. So I might find the buyer out there, someone like myself, it just feels what I feel at this piano. And if you want to come down and get a shot of it, we have this piano, along with nearly 300 pianos at our facility here in Mansfield, Nottinghamshire. Uh, Sherwoodphoenix.co.uk is the website. And certainly if you're looking for a piano, whether it's an upright, a baby grand, or a grand piano, or possibly a digital piano, or your first piano, um, then certainly we do have just about every piano that you could ever imagine in one space. So feel free to be our guest. We're here Monday to Saturday, 10 to 5, and any other time by appointment. Thanks again for watching, folks. We do look forward to seeing you. Bye for now.